What is up, YouTube? I am NintendoMan64, and I'm bringing you the final recording session of Kingdom Hearts 3. In the last recording sessions, we went into the friggin' Cavern of Remembrance, went to that little graveyard area where all the data battles are, and we took out all 13 data forms of Organization 13. And now we wrap up the rest of the game. If you'll ever notice, when you're ever you're walking through the Great Maw area where we fought the Thousand Heartless, any type of the mushrooms that you've seen that you've defeated will appear right there. We are missing one. The reason I decided to save this one for last was because, well, you'll see because you'll see. Let's just say this last mushroom is hidden in a specific world that we could not get to, or area we could not get to without triggering a specific scene. I have maxed out all of the mushrooms. I've gotten all the points you get you the minimum points at least needed to get all of the mushrooms or seconds or whatever. You name it, you got it, I did it. Save for one. And that last one is what we're going to start off this recording session doing. Namely the one I showed you guys earlier in the Let's Play, but one that we never got around to finishing and completing. That being the last mushroom in Timeless River, aka the Steamboat Willy World. But as you can see here, I've maxed out Sora. He's level 99. All of his stats are set. All I'd need to do really is just get a couple more strength boosts, defense boosts, and magic boosts. Which is all about spamming, uh, going after Heartless and, uh, harvesting for items. But all of my forms are maxed out. Drive gauge is at 8. It can only go up one stage higher. All my stats are set. Valor is done. Wisdom is done. Nothing else needed. Limit form is done. Master form is done. And final form is done. And summons are even done. The reason for this is because you cannot complete the rest of the stuff in the post-game stuff, such as the as I've the aforementioned paradox cups, as well as a few other things, without having maxed out all of your forms and summons. So before we go anywhere, we or before we do anything with regards to those, we have to go to Disney Castle because we need to trigger a specific event. It's acting more flustered than usual. It seems it's something afoot in the castle. Something is going on here in the castle, and we are going to deal with it at some point in this recording session. Mostly because it is a finale thing. This fight is so goddamn challenging that I need to have this be the finale of the Let's Play. All things considered, hopefully it works. Now, you don't have to talk to anybody when you come in here, but for the sake of argument, you can tell that something's wrong. Something strange is happening in the Hall of the Cornerstone. Can you investigate what's going on? And Goofy, as captain, you are responsible for protecting the castle from danger. I feel some sort of power, but it's not Maleficent. I don't believe the castle's in any danger, but the whole thing is quite unsettling. You're damn right it's unsettling, Minnie. All you need to do is get to the Hall of the Cornerstone, where Chip and Dale will be waiting for you to let you know of all the shit that's going down. There is plenty of it. Because when you walk in, Oh, Sora, what great timing! I know, we're kind of good like that. It's just terrible, would you look at that? A enormous, ominous-looking portal has appeared in Disney Castle. I came to check on the Cornerstone of Light, and that's when I saw it. I don't know how long it's been there. Isn't that just fun? It looks like it leads somewhere, but where? Oh, Lord. Do you think it's connected to the past like the other one? 
Or maybe that's what the organization wants us to think. It might be a trap. Donald, we already took care of the organization. They're like dead. Like whatever. Whatever the case, we should be prepared for anything if we're going to check it out. That is the ominous looking death portal that we will be dealing with later. Not now because we still have a few other things to deal with. What? How did you guys just split up so far away from each other? You're Chip and Dale. You should be friends. Yes, but this is where we go to have that last fight, so... We will be ending the Let's Play here. But not beginning it, obviously. And we're not going to be ending it right now, because we have things to do. Back in the 1920s, after all. Let's make our way to the waterway. And now, to show you guys the way to beat the last of these mushrooms. It's pretty straightforward. All you have to do is get the exact amount of hits taken off of it very quickly. If you can't do it within 30 seconds, it, all, it automatically ends. Best way to do it, if you ask me, is wisdom form. And I don't recommend you go in there without a maxed out wisdom form at the very least, so... Alright. It's been a while, but... It, but I am confident that I can take out all of these mushrooms. And save the day. Alright, let's get in the wisdom form. And start the battle. The key is to get as many of the finishing pluses attached to you as possible. Because if you don't have that, well, you can basically kiss your chances of winning this goodbye. And if I'm not mistaken, we're cutting it really short. I think 19 seconds was the limit. Let's see. Plain mushroom. Drive recovery. Actually, you know what? Let's check the journal. Ah! We did it! Nice! Alright, so it was... It was 19 seconds, so by 14 milliseconds, we accomplished this. Damn, I am good. And that essentially leaves... All... Of... The mushrooms taken care of, apart from one. I know, I lied to you guys. But fortunately, there isn't much we have to do with this last one. All we have to do is go to the Great Maw back in the Radiant Garden to take care of it. But in actuality, what we're going to be doing is just going there. We don't have to do anything. We don't have to change anything. Everybody has the weapons I want. So yeah, all we have to do is go back to the Great Maw and see what happens. And look, as much as I want to call it Radiant Garden, I'm going to be calling it Hollow Bastion. I always call it Hollow Bastion because that's the name I was bred with it being on. You guys understand. But with all of them there, out comes the last of the mushrooms. Mushroom 13. And all you have to do is press the triangle button. And he presents us with Winner's Proof. A weapon of extraordinary magic and great strength. It has the ability, <coughs> no XP attached to it, so we don't gain the experience. We also have the proof of peace, which may have changed Sora. With all 13 mushrooms mastered, Sora now has his last of the Keyblades, which oddly enough is not in a, a trophy in this game. I thought it would be. Or I thought it was. And now we have the Silver Crown. All that's left for us to do is one last thing to get the Golden Crown. But I digress. Alright. Winner's proof. No experience will be gained for us. But we're already at level 99, so it doesn't matter. So we'll be doing mercilessly good magic. Which is always a good thing. To equip that full bloom plus. Because of reasons. I want all my maxed out abilities because... Well... The last two things we're doing in this playthrough are not particularly easy. 
The first of these things being the Paradox Cups. You unlock the Paradox Cups by beating all four of the original cups in the Underworld, or in the Underdrome, if you will. Man, that Keyblade has a lot of swag, which is good. But you unlock the Paradox Cups a little differently. You've beaten all of the worlds. You've beaten all four of the cups. The Titan Cup, the Cerberus Cup, the Pain and Panic Cup, and the Goddess of Fate Cup. But you do not go to Pain and Panic to unlock this one. Instead, you head into the Cave of the Dead. Make sure you have all your items equipped. And essentially just progress. Now, there are four Paradox Cups in total. The first three are not that important. However, I am going to show me beating them anyway in probably some sort of musical montage, if you will. <clears throat> Let's give everybody their good abilities. Uh, even though these are Paradox Cups and different from the originals, uh, Orin can still not take part in the cups with you, so you may as well just stick with Donald and Goofy for these. I see no reason to otherwise. Now what you do is you get into the Valley of the Dead, and we go up to Hades' room where we can go talk to him, because these are cups that are hosted, obviously, by Hades. Now, like I said, the first three are completely irrelevant. They are literally rehashes of the first three of the cups. So it's going to be the Pain and Panic Paradox Cup, the Titan Paradox Cup, and the Cerberus Paradox Cup. Not necessarily in that order. You can only unlock these by maxing out the respective forms. And, of course, the last one we will unlock by completing all the other three. <clears throat> Musical Montage! Carry me through these three wonderful cups!
All that's left is Hercules now. Let's show him who is boss. So much for him being the son of Zeus, am I right? Do I even need to do a summon for this fight? Well, I probably don't, but I'm going to anyway. Oh, you bomb. That was unnecessary. Alright, Genie, pop up. Did you just punch Genie? How could you? Dan Castellaneta is gonna come to your house and... Oh, okay, I guess you can... You're like Ganon, you could just magically turn yourself to use your ultimate punch. Oh, well. That didn't kill you? I'm actually surprised. Oh, well. At least it'll kill you now. Give me strength. And that is all three Paradox of the original Paradox Cups taken care of. Now comes the tough one. Now before we go in, I want to max out all my items. Make sure everybody's holding the good shit. Because we are definitely going to need the good shit. Remember the Hades Cup in Kingdom Hearts 1? 50 straight rounds of fights. Yeah, get ready for another one. Because here it comes, the Hades Cup. <laughs> 